It's the weekly mother fucking roundup time, guys. Sit down, get comfortable, shut the fuck up and get ready for the breakdown of the action. Let's go. Monday was an absolutely amazing day. Oh, what a day. There was disappointment in store for all 10 of the drillers, for I was unable to go out screaming and spinning in circles or even repeat myself as I had been arrested and was banged up on remand due to breaking my bail conditions. I imagine I was sat in my cell, crying, calling for my tuna babes. Cold never bothered me anyway, or my mummy, because I am weak and childlike. Cruelly separated from my security cornflakes, I was exposed to the results of my actions and forced to face reality that I may be headed to prison, hopefully for a very long time. On Tuesday, to everyone's disappointment, I came back to TikTok. Announcing my return, I posted two shit videos of me eating cornflakes before coming on my live in the evening where I thought there was a rat in my wardrobe, which scared me. And after running to my daddy, screaming for help, it was established that there was a bird set to meet its unfortunate demise of ending its time on earth trapped in the walls of the right household. I went in the loft to search for the bird and located my stack of missing nappies before treating everyone to a viewing of my retro blazer from the 90s. I then saw out the rest of the night in comfort, repeating myself for the first time this week, sat in my nice new padded nappy. Wednesday was just another day where I proved to the world via an online stream that I am a scummy piece of shit. I woke up, tilted my hat at the angle I was seeking to look like the biggest cunt possible, adjusted my prawn in my piss-soaked pants I've had on for weeks, and after a lifeless attempt at repeating myself in a bid to be the best TikToker around, I took advantage of the good weather by showing my 120 viewers how much I struggle at cutting grass. Unable to control myself from my silly habits, I couldn't resist spinning in a few circles while completing my task, showing, still to this day, and after all these years, I am still totally oblivious to understanding the most basic fundamentals of what dancing is. And after this amazing high point to the day and spending far too long away from my TikTok battling addiction, clearly now physically exhausted from pretending to be an adult male, I decided the most productive thing I could do was to stick my fingers in my eyes and endlessly repeating myself with a truly unhealthy obsession that my audience, who mostly hate me, should tap on their phones to assist me in trying to weasel money out of the few people watching. And on Thursday, I declared that once again, and for about the fucking 15th week in a row, I was feeling ill. I mostly sat in silence looking grumpy before rage quitting at 10 because nobody was giving me any money. But before leaving, I did treat the viewers by forcing them to watch me eat food like a baby and then later shave my beard onto my bed like the scummy little rat I am. In a move that nobody saw coming, instead of laying around crying at the poor decision that is my entire life, I was next seen at midday on a bus heading out where I would spend the next two hours screaming and spinning in circles. I mostly paced up and down, disturbing the peace with my public screaming, but there was the odd tappy tap and I provided what is the absolute highlight of the entire week, this beautifully performed moment of singing, perfection. And after this kind of sad, public display of crying out for help, masters a dance performance, I personally couldn't be bothered watching him anymore or hearing him repeat himself. So I put him down for what I will assume is the best part of the evening will have been spent repeating himself. I'd like to show off my top tier Microsoft Excel skills to you now by presenting to you two graphs of this week's statistics. I find the bar chart a little hard to read, as at first glance, because the bar for screaming and spinning in circles is missing for most days, as he only went out once, and there is the inclusion of a new bar for the section named prison, so I have also added a pie chart to make it easier on the eye. And that's your lot for this week, my toasters. I hope you all have a great day today, and I'll see you soon. Neo. Ich bin eine Katze und ich habe ein Verlangen nach USB Mikrotyp B Geräten. Personenkraftwagen werden auf das Laufwerk C heruntergeladen.